first runway in Antarctica, launching the first regular air link between the continents. Named after aviator Sir Hubert Wilkins, who made the first flight over Antarctica, the four-kilometer tarmac near Casey Station cost nearly $50 million. Welcome to the end of the Earth the southern end at least. This pristine wilderness has now been opened up to regular flights from Australia. Survival suits are the order of the day for an historic trip like this. 19 passengers, Federal Environment Minister Peter Garrett among them, were on the 3,400 kilometre flight from Hobart. The Wilkins runway, built on 500 metre thick ice, will revolutionise Australia's scientific research capabilities in Antarctica. This is a very big occasion, genuinely historic and a fantastic achievement for Australian scientists, engineers, members of the Antarctic Division and for our country. What a wonderful opportunity to be able to bring scientists on regular air flights into the Antarctic. Seven scientists were among those on board the Airbus passenger jet. Antarctica is a most important place in terms of climate change research, so it's very timely. Of course, this program of Air, the Airlink program has been going on for many years, um, and uh, it's just come to fruition at the right moment, you might say. The flight not only bought human cargo, but much needed food and scientific and medical supplies as well. Restocking the base will now be done on a more regular basis, a boon for scientists here who previously had to wait months for much needed equipment. For us, as a, as a trade group, um, it doesn't affect us so much for science. It's a real bonus, just the fact that they can come and go as they please. Um, last year we had a guy came down on the boat, spent six weeks on the boat for one day's work. Weather permitting, those days are over. Flights will arrive weekly during the warmest months between October and March, but for Antarctic expedition members only. No tourists allowed. Chris Castellari, World News Australia.